Liga de la Torre on the difference between playing in Europe, where relegation exists, and MLS. Quote, the best thing about European football is promotion and relegation and that every game matters. It is life or death, a final, and there is a lot of pressure. In MLS being closed, that doesn't happen. I can't imagine playing without that pressure. Having that pressure changes the way you compete, the desire to win games grows, and you play a different style of football. For me, they are almost two different sports. Herc, LDLT with some shots fired at MLS. Are they warranted? Well, I don't know about shots fired. It's a reality. Warranted? Ye you don't yeah. think it's a shot fired? It's no, a no, different no. sport, he says. Well, it's a reality. I mean, it's closed off. So he's talking mm -hmm. about life and death. Why would he be speaking about life and death when talking about a game? Because essentially that's what pro-rel can be to you. Mm -hmm. It can be life. If you are promoted, it is life for your team. It is life for yourself. It is a good bill of life when it comes to making more money, yeah. when it comes to sprouting up a community, making that community stronger. Uh, all the endless possibilities that come with promotion. That is life. Mm. The possibilities is life. But it is also death. And he knows this very well because he was with Heracles in the mm -hmm. Eredivisie when, well, guess what? They were relegated. Yeah. And when but he's he not complaining. He's saying he loved it. Well, it may have cost him. He may have loved it. But if you think about it, it may have cost him a start in the World Cup, right? He had to go test out the waters. He had to go to Celta. He had to go to fight. Mm -hmm. He didn't play in the World Cup. Like, I'm not saying it would have happened if he was a Heracles, but he was in a good situation there. He was a good player for him, an important player, and he was playing regularly. Now, when you get relegated, that can be death. It's exciting. I've been there. The fight. It feels like you're playing for something. Every game yes. matters. This is true. But when you get relegated, and I'm not defending Major League Soccer, there is death that comes with it. Death in the form of you are now less valuable. That's just a fact. You're not a first division player anymore. Your stock goes down. You make less. Those around you, and I'm not just talking about the players, make less as well. Communities can die with this. We talk about the life all the time, but we never talk about what relegation brings the teams that actually go down it's part of the process and i mm -hmm. love it i am here for it but this is why he's saying it's different and it's a different sport for major league soccer nothing's gonna happen if you yep. lose last place in major league soccer if you don't make the playoffs you're still gonna be there the next day ownership players communities the people that work in said teams it's just a reality that's why he's saying it's two different sports it really is but it doesn't mean it's a good thing and i love pro rel his taste of it was yeah. good I think the question here is about like impact on the national team, right? Because we talk about it with Liga MX getting rid of relegation, and we've heard the comments that not having relegation can take some of the urgency out of the regular season games. I agree. And then we see that in Liga MX where you add more and more playoffs. We see it now being done in MLS. So it just feels like those regular season games, they really do start to mean less and less and less. And when you have a less competitive Herc, domestic player, it would figure that even if most of your players are playing in Europe, they might have started in that less competitive space. So you're going to have a less competitive national team. I, tr I truly believe in the competitive value of promotion relegation. And Luca De La Torre, who's been a victim of it, right? You said he went yeah. down with Heracles. Maybe it cost him minutes at the World Cup. He's telling you that there's a huge value here. I hope, I hope, Herc. I hope that USL finally does it. I hope that USL it doesn't does matter, what, Seb. Does if what they, MLS doesn't does do it, and gives it us a little, matter gives us a little promotion there's a ceiling relegation. There. It's not, I want it. I want I it. I love USL because it would show that it would make things exciting, but it's still, mm -hmm. there's a ceiling there. Mm -hmm. Now, it may be an unfair ceiling, but there's still a ceiling there. Now, Luca's telling you that he loves it and, and mm -hmm. that it's a different sport, and I believe it. And that's why I'm saying it's not shots fired. But okay. it doesn't change the fact for Luca. Yeah. It's his reality. For Major League Soccer, it's their reality. Now, I don't like it, but it is the reality. You know why I, I kind of think shots fired here? I'm also thinking about the fact that Luca De La Torre, who played in promotion relegation leagues and then was in La Liga, didn't play a single minute at the World Cup, Herc. And you know guys from what league played a lot in the World Cup for the U.S. team? Tell me. Major League Soccer. I just wonder if Luca De La Torre, seeing those guys Qué mal pensado play in eres. MLS... Eres un mal pensado. Am I crazy, though? I mean, yes, I am crazy. Am I crazy with this? Listen, no, man, no. The, no, there no, are a few no. players in that pool as confident uh -huh. as Luca, and as free speech as Luca. Luca exactly. is calculated. He doesn't exactly. just put things out there. Exactly. Remember, when Greg Berhalter said, you're not driving enough, Luca De La Torre went to Twitter and posted a compilation of him driving the ball upfield more. So there you go. Nothing that Luca De La no Torre does. No bigger Luca backer than myself, and I lost a bet because of it. Exactly. 
Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on U2. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.